At some point of our lives, every one of us wanted to become a football player. Am I right? And that is also the dream of that man right there. Chris Sherpa, 16 years old, from India, striker, left midfield, right midfield, 47 rated. That man right there is officially the lowest rated player in FC24 as we speak. Oh, what a loser! This low rated 16 year old now plays for Hyderabad in India. Obviously, this kid is at the beginning of his career. And I just think of myself as a young lad when I wanted to become a professional football player. <laughs> All the dreams that I had and Today, I want to live vicariously through Sherpa right here by playing his career. And lads, you're going on this journey with me. However, there will be objectives and challenges along the way. First of all, from a rating of 47 up to a 60, he only gets to join teams that have a max rating of two stars. And the second range will be 61 up to a 70 to be able to join any club that has three stars like Schalke. Once he gets to that 70 to 80 range, then it is allowed to join teams that have four stars like Fiorentina, for example. And then, of course, after the 80 rating has been reached, we are allowed to join any team that has five stars. Before we go any further, though, lads, let me tell you, there's a game that I've been playing for over three years now, and I need to tell you something about it. Did you know that the three most expensive digital football cards sold for over 1.3 million euros? That is the equivalent of two penthouses in Dubai. The difference is those three cards played in lineups that already won back over 500,000 euros for those incredible managers who played so rare. In third place is Vinicius Jr. purchased for 334,000. Second place is Mbappe for 416,000. In first place is Haaland's unique card, which sold for 609,000 euros. So Rare is an incredible fantasy football game that allows you to compete for cards and cash rewards, along with competing for incredible once in a lifetime experiences like my trip to the Dortmund versus PSG game as a VIP. Luckily, it's not only played on those levels for managers, but it's also accessible for the everyday football fan. Limited or rare scarcities offer incredible rewards on a bi-weekly basis, so this might be your time to jump into Sore as there is now a price pool of 15 million for this upcoming season. Use my link in bio or description to sign up. So for Mr. Chris Sherpa, we're going to go into stats right now, only to realize he has a two-star skill moves on him and also three-star weak foot. Now, I'm going to go for the mobile striker to improve him to a three-star skill move player instantly as soon as we can. But as we go through his career, once he surpasses 10 goals, that unlocks him a play style. If he gets to 20 goal contributions in one of these seasons, that unlocks the next play style plus. And then as we get to 30 goals, he unlocks another one. But every single time we step onto the pitch with Sherpa, which is going to be once every season, if I do go ahead and score a goal, because he's a striker, we don't need assists. If I do get a goal with Sherpa, that means I get to give him a plus 10 in any of these stats that you see right here. So every single time we step onto the pitch, it's crucial. Because I want to see him at his worst, we're going to be stepping into a matchup. The season opener against Northeast United. Sherpa, there he is. Oh, he can't even play a straight pass. He can't even do it twice. Saji sprinting. Finding the right pass. Sherpa in the middle. Wants the ball. He might just get it right now. Go on, Sherpa. Get an assist in your first game. Why not? We'll take it. He doesn't score, but he is aware of his surroundings. 48 rated as we speak. It took us 62 minutes to do anything in this game. And yes, this is being played at ultimate difficulty with sliders turned on so that our opponents are even stronger than that. The Hyderabad fans are very happy because we have won, but only an assist for our boy. Seems like we are not the only ones struggling on the pitch. We have the entire team just being terrible. Minus 24 on the goal difference, 14 points bottom of the league table. Luckily though, Sherpa has gone up to a 52, which is great. That's plus five in growth. And he now has four star skill moves and a five star weak foot. Now, I don't know how many goals he scored. He actually managed to get six this season with three assists. I think that's okay, but performances like these don't guarantee us any move away from this club. We're gonna be remaining at this club for one more season and hopefully, proving our worth with over 10 goals. This is actually nuts. 
we had to go a couple more months until the season actually ended because in India they have a different structure. And in those months, Sherpa has gone up to a 54. That's this kid really wants that amazing career. 21 games into the season and our team absolutely sucks still. And we are up against the first placed East Bengal. Lads, let's see if we can help Mumbai City to win the league title. This is going to be a big one as we step into it. Our boy is up to a 58. He really desperately wants to get out of this team. Now, as we step onto the pitch, please do realize that we need to get him to a 61 rating to unlock three-star teams. So a good performance in this one, or let's say a goal, would be massive because that plus 10 could genuinely take him to a 60 rating already. There we go. Solid run. Oh, that's not the pass I wanted, but it's okay. We still have control. Back heel. Go on. Shoot. Yes! He scores his first goal for me, which means we get to give him that plus 10. It is going to be essential for his career and it could legitimately open up the door to get to that 61 rating and get to a three star team up next. Ah, oh, mate, I'm so glad he actually scored. He's five foot six, by the way. So once we get into more physical leagues, this could be an issue. After that game, Sherpa has already gone up to a 59, but currently he has 63 finishing, and that is unacceptable. So we are pushing him above that 63 instantly to a 73. We did, however, lose that game still because our defense sucks. But at least we are working on the career of our boy and 60 rating. Hey, we're only one rating away from unlocking a three-star team up next. The moment of truth. End of season, lads. It is Bengaluru winning it over here in India. And in the regular season, <laughs> we picked up 11 points. Our team scored 32 goals. And the question is, how many did our boy get? And did he grow to a 61? It was essential that we got that goal. And that gets him to that 61 rating at the end, which means we can move to a bigger team with better coaches, with people that can teach me and players surrounding him that can help him out as well. So these are his current stats i'm really really excited to see where we're gonna go after this one no play styles and that's one thing we need to take a look at if he has gotten over 10 goals this season that means i get to give him a play style plus please yes even though the team has scored such a little amount of goals chris sherpa has gotten 11 and 1 and that means I get to choose a play star plus. It could have been the finesse shot, but no. I have gone for the quick step plus because from my recent experience, it is the one thing that gets you away from defenders with ease. So Sherpa, quick step plus and a new club. Which one though? From India all the way to Poland to now play for one of the biggest clubs in the country, Lech Poznan, Chris Sherpa has now arrived in Europe. This is now the squad that he's going to be playing for. Up top with a 62 rating, soon to have five star skills as well, hopefully. And of course, the quick step plus. But we will have Sosa behind us, Dino Hotic as a player who in Belgium, I believe, was like insane. And then we have Karlström, Muravski, we have Velde on the left midfield position. You could just tell there's a massive difference in this team in terms of overall ratings compared to where we just played. So this is going to be the perfect place for Sherpa to grow as a player. And again... If we do go ahead and get him to an amazing rating, hopefully past, which was like the 70 rating, we get to move to a four star club. But until then, we're here in Poland. So let's do some work. The first game we step into is Lech Poznan against Ligia Warszaw. The two teams that actually have collected the most points in the Polish top division so far. There he is with the number 17 on his back. It's a stadium with a lot of shadow, but... It's fine. We'll brighten up the day. Looking for Sherpa. Oh, he feels much better already. Wait, what? Is that going to be a red card to start off the game? A massive battle begins with a red card. Get out of here. Down to 10 men. This is perfect. Oh, yeah, that's a red card. Sherpa, man. Look at the size difference. This is such a joke. Why is this guy playing with my emotions? Bro. Give me the freaking ball. Oh, my God. I'm on the floor. Yes, mistakes were made. Sherpa. I'm not passing the ball, buddy. I'm not passing the ball. I'm taking a shot. I'm nearly scoring. I see you out there, big boy. I mean, I shouldn't say big boy, but let's give it a shot. Can he shoot from out there? Bang. Right foot. Whoa. 
the power on that was ridiculous, wasn't it? We're going to concede. This could be bad. What the hell is the keeper doing? Bro, he was on the floor before he even attempted to shoot. This is a game at home. Come on. I mean, just look. What is he doing? What a pass that is. Let's go. Let's go, Sherpa. This is your chance. Run. Run, kid. Get away from him. Nice one. That finish. Let's go. The plus 10 is secured. And in the biggest game of the season, the season opener, we make sure our team doesn't lose. Sherpa. Thank you. You know what? I'm going to give you a different color of hair. Just pass the freaking ball, please. There we go. Pass a move. Run, Sherpa. Do it again. Come on, kid. Do it again. You're the best. <laughs> yes, the game is turned around by Chris Sherpa. A new star is rising on the horizon of football. This kid is the next big thing. Trust me, there's only one man who deserves the man of the match in this 2-1 victory. And his name is Chris Sherpa. And because our boy just scored, I'm taking his attack positioning from a 67 up to a 77. Yes, lads, he now goes up to a 63 rated striker. I do believe the attack positioning, especially in simulations, could help him to get to that 20 goal target, possibly. If he does, he gets another playstyle plus. Some Polish fans out there will be very happy because our team has finished in first Lech Poznan with 77 points the first big trophy that our boy has won is won in Europe and that is in Poland 77 points just one a uh, more win than Rakov right there. And uh, that team apparently in real life is the one that has the most value. But we do not care. What we care about is our team and our boy Sherpa up to a 69. Let's go, buddy. Five star, five star now. Obviously, that was bound to happen. You now have 71 pace with 69 shooting, 66 dribbling and only 52 physicality. At the end of the day, he is still five foot six but hey it's fine he's now 19 years old he's working hard he's growing as a player and the question is does he get another play style plus well when going into stats we see velde with over 20 goal contributions but not sherpa he comes up with 12 goals and one assist and you know what since we have done so well over here in poland i feel like his job here is done, but because we haven't surpassed the 70 rating, we are not allowed to go to a four-star team yet. So I'm thinking, since we have already achieved basically everything here in Poland, let's move to a different three-star team in another country. We can really prove that we are one to watch. Think of Martin Odegaard, and that is exactly what we're doing. We're joining Herrenveen, the club with the hearts on the shirt, and yes, he now has blue hair fitting for this team. Chris Sherpa, a new chapter has begun. And you are joining a squad to play up top now with the likes of Sahrawi as a left midfielder, 79 rated. That guy could get us a bunch of assists. Then we have Loizu on the right midfield position with Vitevain in that camp spot with Hey in that center midfield position, a very good player. Abdul Razak joins him uh, in that midfield. Pring, Bochnevic, uh, Van Beek, and also we have Braude in the squad with Nopat leading the line as the goalkeeper. Someone that some of you might actually know because he has played a couple of games for the Netherlands or Dutch national team. But yes, Sherpa, this is your new squad. Let's see what we can do. Ideally, I would love to push this team up into like a European spot in the Eredivisie. That's the plan. Herenveen is fighting for a top five finish. And this is a matchup against PSV Eindhoven, who are in the first position. We are currently sat in sixth. It couldn't be an even more important game than this for us to go ahead and do well in with Sherpa and the boys. Whew, not a good start. Sherpa, continue your run. Continue your run. Can you finesse? Oh, yes, he can. Sherpa now is 73 rated with the blue hair. And our boy scores in the biggest game of the season. PSV Eindhoven. Who do you think you are? You think you can stop this man? No chance. He runs through, receives the pass, and even though he's under pressure, he keeps the composure. This is the type of man we're trying to build up. Oizu. Sherpa is on the run again. Watch this man sprint away. Quick step plus. 
Is it doing anything? The angle is tough. But it... Hey, I'm really liking the development in him. He feels much better already. Come on, then. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> he even tries that type of stuff now. And maybe even bicycle kicks. Uh, okay, we're not that far. That game ends in a draw. But at the end of the day, Sherpa did well. And I decided to give him a plus 10 boost in strength, which takes him to a 74 rating. His strength was at 55. As you can see there at the bottom, it's now on a 65 and it will make a massive difference because, again, he is five foot six and he does get pushed off the ball quite easily. And I don't want that to be an issue for him moving forward. Have we achieved our objectives? Here it is. Karen Vane in the fourth position. Let's go. Ajax have won the title. PSV dropped to the second position. Feyenoord then A's at Alkmaar all the way down there in sixth and seventh. But head in vain. That's the important part. Big gap between us and Twente, but also a big gap to Utrecht. So the team has clearly done well. And Sherpa now on a 76 rating. My boy has obviously now unlocked the ability to join any four-star team. Yes, this is massive for us. So let's just take a look at it. I want that play style plus. Does he have over 20 goals this season? Yes, he does. At first, I thought Sahrawi. Okay, that's cool. But Sherpa has 21 and 6 in 50 games. And we are lucky because we did play in the Conference League. Yes, Erinvain actually played into like the knockout stages, if I'm not mistaken, here in our season. Let's go back a little bit so we can see right here preliminary round we won against Nordseeland and then in around the 16 we played against Brøndby and won in the quarterfinals we sadly dropped out against Cadiz which I don't know how the hell that happened but hey we'll take it lads our boy gets a playstyle plus and for me it's quite obvious he might be a little man but he does have strength in his shot now power shot plus we have given him that to be able to just shoot the ball straight at the keeper and him to have no chance of saving it now that this is done which club are we going to sherpa where would you like to go four stars that's what you can get to. Going from the blue of Herenveen to the blue of FC Porto. Yes, this is the next big step for Sherpa. We are joining a club with rich history. A club that obviously can build out talents like no other. So he now joins to take over that striking position with that 76 rating. A four-star club that now has a bunch of amazing players. Pepe, Varela, Gonzalez, Jaime, Martinez. I mean, just looking through this starting 11 and the fact that our goalkeeper is named Portugal makes this just perfect so i am so excited to take over as the striker of this team hopefully we can surpass the 80 rating hopefully we can win the league title but for the next play style plus it's a tough one we have to get over 30 goals that as a 76 rated player would be unheard of it is a massive game between porto and sporting First place sporting against us who are sat in third. Sherpa now with the number 10 on his back, which is obviously quite impressive. But uh, also, he is now 80 rated. Yes, which means he now has unlocked playing for a five-star team. So this season has now become even more important. We need to put in good performances so he can go ahead and move to a big club because they actually want him. Sporting again. It's 1-0 for Sporting. We're at home. This would be devastating for our season. This is going in, isn't it? This is going in. Oh, mate. I freaking knew it. 2-0 Sporting. It's unstoppable. It's Fatalu as well, bro. You should be a Leicester. What are you doing over here? Oh, mate. It's all, it's all falling apart. Uh, dude, this is not it. It's just not. Things just don't always go your way, man. <laughs> I am, this is terrible. Whoever the coach is of FC Porto, not me, is going to get fired after this. That's all I'm going to say. Cherpa onto his right foot, sprinting away. Come on, lad. Let's do this. Let's at least get something for you. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bro, this is the worst performance ever. Go on, do something. 
Mate, it's an absolute disaster, a catastrophe. Sporting fans celebrate Porto at home, broken down, and I have to say, this is something I'm not taking lightly. Things might have seemed to fall apart there, and they actually did. But we have won the Portuguese Cup. Yes, a 3-1 victory in penalties against Rio Ave, and in the league itself, we actually end up coming in in that second spot with 67 points. Now, what does this mean for Sherpa? I have to say, in the previous clubs, we had success and we moved on. And right here with Sherpa, we are looking at an 81 rated player who has now unlocked the ability to move to a five star team. But I feel like this project is not done yet. I need to do more. And for that reason, I'm going to stick around right here at Porto for another season before I move to a massive club at some point. But right now, I want to fix this team, right? That defense is horrendous. And I want to go ahead and make sure that I come out of the next season with a plus 10 in the stats with a playstyle plus. Talking about playstyle plus, maybe he actually pulled it off by himself. No, 24, which is good though. 24 is really, really good. So 24 and three, that gives me hope moving into the next season. Jaime, thank you very much for your support as well down that left-hand side. But this Porto team needs a few signings and the next season, we're gonna go even bigger. First up, a new goalkeeper in Noah Atubolu, who actually now that Noya has retired from the German national team, could work his way into it. Along with that, for the defense, I found a beast of a player in the free agents. This man is Bustos. Ramon Bustos. He joins us now into that center-back position, obviously. We need to make some changes. Porto can't be having this bad of defenders when you just had Pepe play until the age of 40 and play incredibly. So Bustos comes in with a 78 rating, which is pretty good. And there is the last signing I'm making. It is Abkar Silla, a player that is very, very talented and now joins us for 32 million. It's the last signing. And Sherpa, these boys will be helping you. Trust me. He comes in with an 80 rating left-footed center back. Off we go into the season. 81 rated to start things off. Sporting. I'm coming for you. Well, is it this perfect? We are in the first position halfway through the season. 39 points, sporting on 38. This is the moment, Sherpa, you need to step up. We need to get revenge. And we are currently on an 84 rating. Let's smash him, revenge. This time last year, we lost this in an incredible way. And I failed miserably in front of the target. But this is it, man. This is what it's all about. The comeback story. You know what is hilarious? Our five foot six tall Sherpa has agility of around 60. So if I do go ahead and get a goal in this game, I'm definitely working on that agility. And I probably should be working on my defending too. No way. Oh, yes, Atubolo. Better than Portugal. Let's go. Sherpa gets that one. Down the right to Catarino. Our right back moves forward. Go on. Lovely pass into Sherpa. He's going. He's going. Onto his left foot. And yes! You can't stop him this time, can ya? The blue haired magician gets it done for Porto. But I'm not done yet. I'm going to continue playing this game. I need to make sure we win this. Three points are essential and plus 10 in agility. Let's go. Whoa, what a turn. Unbelievable. 1-1. One, one. See? This is why I needed to continue playing. Lovely pass. Sending Sherpa. There he goes. Smack it! Ah, oh, come on. Do better. A boy can dribble. I like that. Far post. Martinez. Come on, Martinez. Oh, hold on. Yes! 2-1. I'll take it. So our boy is now going to be going from 69 agility to... Hold on. I need to go back in. Let's see, he's 84 rated, 79 agility. That was important. And yes, I couldn't get another goal, but it's fine. Porto got is, is their revenge. Sporting, I'm sorry. Actually, no, because we have won the league title. Liga Portugal, 79 points. There we go. We have gotten our revenge. Yeah, you can have the freaking Portuguese cup, but let's, let me just show you something. Sherpa, 86 rated. Now, 
One thing I'm realizing is he only has 81 pace. Like, what's that about, buddy? We need to work on that for sure moving forward into the next season. 95 attack positioning is one of his best stats as we speak. 93 finishing, 94 short passing. That's cool. And 90 shot power. So really, really good stuff there. And we just need to keep going. And at this point... It, the time has come. We need to move to a massive team. Someone that can compete for Champions League trophies because 86 is a really high rating. No playstyle plus though. Only 23 goals. We still haven't unlocked the third playstyle. Maybe in this next team. The time has come to finally switch from a couple of blue colored teams, which I just recognize now, to a red one. Manchester United, Xerxy, Hoylund. Who's going to be the number one striker? Who cares? It's going to be Sherpa. And I'll change the hair color. The blue doesn't really fit over here. But lads, we are joining a side for 110 million plus Ramos, which is insane because they are on the same rating. But Sherpa comes in with an 86 now into a team that has Pablo Torre in the cam position, Sancho on left midfield, Kole Osho on the right midfield position, Benacer and Caicedo as CDMs. United fans would love that. We have uh, Schurz and Militao in centre-back. That would be ridiculous. Reese James at right-back. Two Chelsea players in his team. Balde at left-back and Diogo Costa in goal. This United team is actually really good. First season at United, we are looking at the second position with 75 points. Manchester City just ahead of us, but I wanted to step in into the last game of the season, and that is against Liverpool. While City play against Chelsea, there's a chance we win the trophy here. Sherpa now going into this game with a new hair color. It is going to be white. Let's see if it's good for us. Oh, instantly gets the ball here. I like this. This is a this is a different feeling Sherpa. Why not? Lovely win. Sherpa doesn't lose the ball. Gets it back maybe. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. 5 minutes in the plus 10 is secured. Why does he have number 23? Come on, man, number 9. Give me a proper number here. United, you might have found yourself a proper striker. Watch this that. Pop post. Oh my god okay now we are done with this game already 11 minutes in ultimate difficulty it doesn't matter this is ridiculous the power shot plus this is one of the main reasons as to why i wanted it what a ridiculous finish <laughs> straight onto alison but also curving away no chance to save it this man is already a united legend just for this game have we won the title now that's the big question i'm not too sure if Manchester City drop points, we might be lifting it. This is stuff that literally my nightmares are made of. But lads, here we are lifting the Premier League title at Anfield. An incredible moment. This is something United fans will never forget. Ben Acer, the one to lift it. Next time, I need the captain to be our boy and there it is 78 points city lost against chelsea 2-0 an incredible end to the season a victory at anfield and sherpa now on an 88 rating with 85 pace he is feeling so much better as a player now on the field and only 20 goals still no 30 plus goals but that's fine two play star pluses at least that last one you saw it in the goal it was insane so Buddy, now go for the Champions League. Manchester United is at the top of the Premier League again. It is 90 points this time around. A 12-point gap over Manchester City. In the FA Cup, we didn't really play in there. But lads, let me tell you one thing. We are playing in a Champions League final. Yes, we beat a couple of really decent teams, beating AC Milan. Then we got past the likes of brighton and then we have gotten past leverkusen to play against juventus which is going to be a ton of fun if you consider that our boy is now 91 rated sherpa is ready for this he started at a 47 and now look at these stats how things have changed for him and actually oh hold on did i give him plus 10 after the last game I don't think I did. I, I still have to give him a plus 10. And let's see. Has he unlocked the last playstyle? Yes. 
34 goals. Okay, so I'll give him the plus 10 and the playstyle plus before we head into the Champions League final against Juventus. So now he is 92 rated because I have improved his acceleration from an 86 to a 96. And I have given him the press proving one because... I feel like when you do left stick dribbling a lot like I do and people are surrounding my player, that one helps out a lot. The moment of truth, lads. I believe if we do win this Champions League trophy, there's a good chance that Sherpa can be up there for the Ballon d'Or. Pablo Torre, nice pass into Sherpa. Down we go. Oh, that's beautiful. Koleosho, 1-0, seventh, seventh? seventh minute this is incredible stuff i gotta say this man has scored even more goals than sherpa which is madness and pablo torre what's going on with you buddy i mean come on the other lad scored the goal don't take away his shine i get it you get the assist that's fine with me juventus could be responding straight away what a pass what a finish okay uh, we have a game in our hands whoa Relax. Whoa! What the? Okay. Ha! <laughs> okay, Juve. Vitor Roque. I see you. He actually now officially joined Real Betis. Malo Gusto sprinting away. Malo Gusto cuts inside. We got him. Now he's a bit out of position. So if we can go down this left hand side for us with Jaden Sancho and Sherpa making a run as well, that could be exceptional. Sherpa, finish it. Yes! 2-2! Two, two. Power shot plus, baby! Let's go! Number 9 of Manchester United. We're back into it. Nicely played. Sherpa, good pass into Reese James. Inside, we have others. Jaden Sancho on to his left! It's 3-2! Oh, Juventus on the floor. Manchester United. Typical fashion, I would like to say, but more like old-fashioned Manchester United. A team that never gives up and comes back always. Oh, no, we're open again. Eder Militao takes him out. Penalty, of course. Ah, uh, typical Johnny fashion, isn't it? Come on now, Diogo Costa. Asking him to go for it. Diogo Costa! I don't know if he saved it, but it doesn't matter. Last minute of the game. This could be it. Go on, then. Pablo Torre, it's fine. It doesn't matter. It's going to be a 3-2 victory against Juventus. When the referee blows the whistle any second now. Wait. He doesn't blow. Let's go. That's it. 3-2 victory. Sherpa scores in a Champions League final. You couldn't ask for more. You know what? I kind of wanted to give our boy the captaincy, but I didn't. At least he's standing right behind Ben Acer. Lads, we have done it. Sherpa has gone from India to Poland to different squads and now ends up winning the Premier League and wins the Champions League as well. The kid has done so well. And I enjoyed myself a ton. And I hope you did as well. If you have, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit that like if you can. Have a good one. Take care and peace.